I am J. Charles Jolly, or known by some of the families here in the Yucatan, uh, Carlos. I didn't really have too much experience speaking Spanish before the class in the fall. Uh, I mean, I knew a little bit about food and, you know, of course, some really basic phrases, but uh, your vocabulary will grow an insane amount in the first few weeks, and then it just continues to grow and continues to grow, and if you're lucky, like me, you'll even pick up a, li a little bit of Mayan, and, you know, that's, that's always fun. San Crescento is fantastic. I, I really enjoyed that community. I think those three weeks were my best three weeks here. Three weeks of fishing in the early morning, uh, in the middle of the day, I might go to my uncle's house and make different sweets and uh, pastries of sorts uh, out of coconuts, or I might go and make coconut oil and in the afternoon go out and fish again. Just the fact that, like, culturally, you, you are very present in your family is, uh, was very impactful for me, and I liked it a lot. Uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to come down here and uh, experience a different culture, um, to experience a different way of living in a family. You're going to have days where you're just not going to really do anything except hang out. And, like, academically that seems like kind of like an unproductive time, but those were probably the most productive times for me. Um, in terms of growing my confidence with conversation. But you know, I had a lot of time to think as well, and I think that was really helpful. I can't really describe the change, but there was definitely a very, very positive change in um, my view on a lot of things in life. And my view on education was definitely one of them, or how I approach it at least.